let's get right into it. Number 9. Uncovering the Maya Superhighways with Lasers Researchers have recently discovered an ancient highway system hidden in the jungle using lasers shot from planes. The lasers go right through the trees and create a detailed map of what's underneath. What they found was mind-blowing. These weren't just little dirt paths connecting villages. We're talking about massive stone highways stretching over nearly 650 square miles. That's bigger than modern-day Las Vegas. The Maya had an entire transportation network that would make some modern cities jealous. These roads were built with incredible precision, often in perfectly straight lines. Some of these highways lined up with the stars. They built roads that point exactly where the sun rises during the winter solstice. They basically built their own ancient GPS system using astronomy. For years, everyone thought Maya cities were like isolated islands in the jungle. Turns out they were more like ancient New York and Los Angeles, connected by stone highways. These roads moved entire armies, traded goods across hundreds of miles, and hosted massive religious processions. They were so well built that some are still visible after being buried in jungle for over 1,000 years. Number 8. Lost Egyptian City of Thanis Heracleion This was Thanis Heracleion, the Las Vegas of ancient Egypt. It was so fancy, it had two names. The Egyptians called it Thanis. The Greeks called it Heracleion. For 2,700 years, this city was basically ancient Egypt's front door. If you wanted to trade with Egypt, you had to go through Thanis Heracleion first. Think of it as ancient customs and border control but with more statues and less paperwork. Then one day, the whole city just sank. Not gradually either. We're talking about a catastrophic event. The ground turned into something like quicksand during an earthquake. The entire city slid into the ocean like it was on a water slide. For centuries, people thought this city was just a myth, like Atlantis, but with more pyramids and less Hollywood movies. Then in 2000, scientists found it. They found a massive statue of Happy, the god of fertility, face down in the mud. A 16-foot-tall red granite statue that's basically the ancient equivalent of a Get Lucky billboard. Ironically, the god of flooding ended up underwater. Number 7. The True Colors of Ancient Greek Statues These ancient statues used to look like they came straight out of a comic book. Tiny specks of paint were found on these ancient sculptures, thanks to UV lights and electron microscopes. It's like finding fingerprints at a crime scene. But these fingerprints are 2,000 years old. The Greeks weren't subtle about it. They used bright reds, electric blues, and even gold leaf. Walking through ancient Athens meant seeing a giant statue of Zeus, looking like he just stepped out of a pride parade. They found a marble sphinx from 500 BC that was basically the ancient equivalent of a tattoo sleeve. It had intricate patterns and detailed feathers, all painted in dark red and blue. The colors weren't random either. They used different skin tones to show ethnicity, added gold to show divine status, and painted muscles to emphasize strength. These statues were the ancient equivalent of a tricked-out lowrider. For centuries, art historians praised the pure white marble as sophisticated. Meanwhile, they were basically praising statues that were missing their makeup. The Greeks would have looked at our modern museums and thought all these statues were naked. Number 6. The Toxic Water Mystery of Tikal The Maya were slowly poisoning themselves without even knowing it. It all started with their love of the color red. They painted their temples and pottery with a beautiful red pigment called cinnabar. But cinnabar is basically mercury in fancy clothes. Every time it rained, this red paint would wash into their water reservoirs. The reservoirs also became breeding grounds for toxic algae. These weren't regular pond scum. These were super toxic blue-green algae that even boiling couldn't kill. The Maya built these reservoirs to save themselves from drought. Instead, they created pools of death that would make a nuclear waste dump look refreshing. Researchers discovered layers of toxic sediment at the bottom of these reservoirs. Each layer was like a history book written in poison. The mercury levels they found would make a hazmat team nervous. When drought hit in the 800s, people had to choose between drinking poison water or leaving. Most chose to leave, which explains why they found so many perfectly good houses just abandoned. Number 5. Ancient Egyptian Ink Recipes The Egyptians used two main colors, black for regular text and red for the important stuff. They were adding lead to their ink not because they wanted their scribes to go crazy. Using lead made the ink dry faster on papyrus. When scientists hit these ancient papers with super-powered x-rays, they found something incredible. The particles of lead weren't just sitting on top of the papyrus. They were actually sinking into the fibers, creating perfect outlines around each letter. These guys basically invented permanent markers without knowing it. They mixed their molten lead with all sorts of chemicals, phosphates, sulfates, 
stuff that wouldn't be discovered until thousands of years later. This ink recipe was so good that we can still read their shopping lists 3,000 years later. Number 4. The Shagir Idol, World's Oldest Wooden Sculpture When workers in Russia were digging in a peat bog back in 1890, they hit something weird. For over a century, its true age was a complete mystery. Then, scientists finally solved the puzzle. Using advanced radiocarbon dating, they discovered it was carved 12,000 years ago. This single discovery rewrote history, proving that ancient hunter-gatherers were creating complex, monumental art. This thing was huge, originally about 17 feet tall. The ancient artists carved it using beaver jaws as tools. The statue features seven faces stacked like a totem pole, covered in zigzags and waves. While the exact meaning of these symbols is the next great mystery, science has already solved the biggest one, revealing a masterpiece from the dawn of human creativity. The peat bog preserved it perfectly, like a giant wooden pickle. Number 3. Sunken Wood Circles Scientists found something wild hiding under lakes across Europe. Perfect circles made of wood, sitting at the bottom like ancient crop circles for fish. These weren't random logs that fell in a circle. These were built with the precision of ancient engineers. They built perfect circles underwater using nothing but wood and stone age tools. The wood should have rotted away ages ago, but the water's lack of oxygen turned these structures into time capsules. It's like these ancient structures got accidentally pickled. These circles were built on dry land. Then, over thousands of years, the water levels rose, and they slowly sank. The ancient builders used complex joinery techniques that we thought weren't invented until way later. But instead of using stone that lasts forever, they chose wood that decays. Number 2. Reading the Burnt Scrolls of Herculaneum When Mount Vesuvius erupted in 79 AD, it didn't just turn Pompeii's residents into human statues. It also cooked an entire library of scrolls in nearby Herculaneum. These scrolls were basically turned into charcoal tubes that would crumble if touched. For centuries, these scrolls sat there, mocking historians with their secrets. But scientists recently figured out a way to read these scrolls without touching them. They used special x-rays to give these ancient texts a CT scan, like what doctors use to look inside your body. Then they let AI loose on the images to find the hidden writing. They found philosophical writings about pleasure and happiness. One of the first words they decoded was purple in Greek. They turned this into a contest called the Vesuvius Challenge. Computer experts from around the world competed to decode these ancient texts. They managed to read entire passages from scrolls that haven't been opened since before the fall of Rome. The scrolls were found in what historians think was some rich Roman guy's house. This dude had over 1,000 scrolls in his personal library. Number 1. Chanquilo Solar Observatory Over 2,300 years ago in Peru, an ancient civilization built a clock using an entire mountain range. They constructed 13 towers in a perfect line across a ridge. For centuries, the purpose of these towers was a mystery, until researchers finally cracked the code. Each tower was precisely placed to track the sun's movement throughout the year. On the summer solstice, the sun would peek out from behind the rightmost tower. During winter solstice, it would appear behind the leftmost one. And during the equinoxes, it would appear right between the middle towers. These ancient astronomers could tell you what day it was within two to three days, just by watching where the sun rose. The towers were originally painted in bright colors, yellows, whites, and ochres. This massive astronomical device looked like a giant rainbow stretched across the desert, but we have no idea who built it. This observatory predates the Incas by over a thousand years. The civilization that built this masterpiece disappeared without leaving much trace besides this cosmic clock. The most incredible part is this device still works perfectly after 2,300 years. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.